Hi, I'm Kendra Adams with Motorsport Alley, and today I'm here with JP, owner and promoter of Peterborough Speedway. Go on and tell us about what big things are happening for Peterborough this year. Uh, quite a few things, uh, actually. It's uh, the 51st running at the Speedway. Um, I've been behind Helm now for 19 years. Uh, we've added quite a few things this year, actually. We've uh, eliminated, eliminated the chase eliminated the chase for the colors and we've added a what's called the cottage country dash for cash uh, last year what we did uh, we did a similar format in our championship night and uh, the racing all you were racing for was first place for money no points and uh, it was actually some of the best racing we saw in the year so we've added it in the middle of the summer to give fans a bit of a taste like that no points no nothing just money um, besides that super lates uh, Speedways have gotten together and we've rebranded the Super Lates on their Super, the Ontario Super Late series. Um, and there's going to be two 75 lappers at Peterborough, as well as another seven events across the province. Um, so there's going to be a lot of different things happening at Speedway and uh, just keep refining our classes. Car count, we've had the highest registration to date. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really good year. That sounds awesome, and that Cottage Country Dash for Cash seems like a really interesting idea because we know everybody wants to go for the championship, and, and sometimes people get wrapped up in the points or qualifying for the colors as that's such a uh, big event here in Canada. So that's a pretty cool idea. Where did you guys come up with that? Well, personally, I do a lot of racing in the States, and we do a lot of talking when we're in the truck for 28 hours per race. So um, just toy around with a lot of things, and it just... Yeah, we just come up with different things and uh, and say that I'll, uh, when you go to all the other speedways, you always see different things being done. Um, I haven't seen this being done anywhere else, but you take little pieces and you sort of give it your own twist and put things together and toy around with that. So in one of those long road trips, did you come up with your new formatting for the uh, colors and tell us about that? Uh, that came up about three years ago and it's uh, we talk about it on and off on some of our road trips. Uh, as the rules have gotten closer over the past couple of years for the, the late models slash limited late models and the pro lates, um, and car counts fluctuate up and down in both classes, uh, we sort of, this year we've introduced what's called the Electric City 167, 167 laps, the 67 portion being the year the Speedway was built. Um, and the rules are close enough, we're still finalizing the rules package, but that these cars can compete together. Um, and basically at the Autumn Colors, it's going to be, the Autumn Colors is the biggest event in the province. You know, lots of people, not to boast, everybody tries to copy it. Um, but we're trying to uh, put a marquee race with a marquee event. And uh, the Autumn Colors this year is 26 years running. Um, we just wanted just another boost in the arm. A couple years ago, three years ago, we introduced the uh, Young Guns races, which really took off on the Friday night. And uh, I think this will be another thing for the Autumn Colors, to, something we can build on and, uh, you know, give guys a goal for the end of the year to, uh, you know, to take the checkered flag in this ra inaugural race is going to mean something. So rebranding re the Super Late Model Series and a new format in the uh, Autumn Colors Classic means a lot for Peterborough Speedway. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you.